What's up, family? Quadell here, certified fitness coach, certified nutrition coach, and there's something that I want to address. Well, mainly, it's an encouragement uh, for a problem that seems to be among the top of a lot of people when it comes to getting healthy, uh, getting yourself fit, getting yourself in shape, and that's where we all run into that stump of time. And, and to me, it's not much of a time problem as a lot of people would suggest that it is, but it is really a priority problem. See, I'll use myself as an example. See, I, I, I put God first, that's my number one priority. Uh, I put my family as a priority, uh, my household, uh, you know, and I also put my health as a priority. But that was not the case all the time. One thing that we put as a priority is feelings, such as the ability to feel good or feel happy. Uh, we put those things as a priority, which is not, you know, necessarily a bad thing, but to put that over your health sometimes can be very detrimental later on down in life. See, I like to feel good. I like to feel happy. What a lot of people don't understand is that you can choose to be happy. All you have to do is just look at your circumstances and say, am I going to be happy about it or not? You know, so uh, that's not really something that you should prioritize over your health. Now, I say that because how happy will you be if you couldn't play with your kids because of health issues or you couldn't, you couldn't do the things that you used to do because... Your, your, your body is declining. Now naturally, our body is already declining every day. Now, why do we want to assist that process? So, what I think about now that I've kind of, you know, matured in this area is time management. How do I manage the time that I do have. 24 hours is all you get. I mean, you're not going to get no more of that. Ain't nobody, nobody on this earth has 34 hours. Nobody on this earth has 40 hours. We have 24 hours in a day. And how you chop that up, how you manage it, is all up to you. So, my advice to you is to think about the things that are important for me. God is first. My family. I put my wife. My wife is first. I put those things in priority, and now my health is first because of them. It's not. E it's not even just because. It's just not. It's not even just for you. It's for the people you love and the people you care about. That I want to stay fit and I want to be in shape. I want to be here for them. It's too many people dying because of pleasure. And I say that because, I say pleasure because some of the things that we eat and how much of it we eat is all a pleasure thing. Because we like the way it tastes, we like the way it feels, we like that satisfaction. We're releasing that dopamine in our mind, and our head, and it's just makes us feel good how much better will you feel if you know that you are taking that you are taking care of yourself and you are healthy enough to play with your family and to go on different trips and do fun things and enjoy each other we don't have to grow old in our 30s we don't have to be old in our 40s, in our 50s. We can get old naturally. So allow, uh, uh, stop allowing yourself to help. 
in that process of getting old. One thing that is very important, and I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna try to be as clear as possible. We were all put on this earth to be managers. Managers. Now, I'm not talking about no manager at no department store or a manager at the at the fast food joint or anything like that, but manage, managing your life. Because what you mismanage, you lose. That's a principle of life. If you mismanage it, you lose it. You don't take care of your kids, you're going to lose them. If you don't take care of your health, you're going to lose it. If you don't take care of your finances the right way, you're going to lose it. Money just going to be flying off the door. So I just want to encourage everyone out there what is your priority and how are you going to accomplish the goals that you have put in that position as a priority you got to get up and you got to get at it now I specialize in uh, in fitness training for the busy individual. I qualify as a busy individual. I have five kids. I have a full household, full time job, and a business to me. Time is valuable. Time is very valuable. That's why people pay you for your time. Those jobs that you work, they're paying you for your time. So when are you going to start paying yourself for your time? We can all do this. We can all do that. We can all get fit. We can all defeat the challenges of life. But it's an intention. We have to be intentional. Get up and get at it, folks. Get down.